McLaren is what I consider to be um, the best kept secret in um, South Fulton um, County. Um, we are a non-traditional school. What that means is students come to us for whatever reason they are unsuccessful in a traditional school environment. So we provide um, credit recovery options for students to accelerate and remediate their learning in order for them to um, accomplish the goal of graduating from high school. One of the awesome things about um, the blended learning format is, like I said, it really gets to the heart or the mission and vision of our school and that is to accelerate and remediate students. Um, students that come to us usually have experienced failure in traditional ed. Um, and so therefore, the, a class like Mr. Ahmad that provide blended learning opportunities for kids allows for students to accelerate their learning because if they understand a concept, they're able to move forward at their own pace. If they're having difficulty, they can take longer on those particular standards. So they're not bound by a traditional classroom setting where the teacher is teaching to the middle. At first glance, it honestly doesn't look like much. It looks like students sitting there on iPads, nodding their heads. Um, it's individualized learning. Everyone starts on their own pace. There's not a traditional opening. There's not a traditional closing. That would actually slow students down. There's not me standing in front of the class and lecturing. That would slow students down. So I'm not gonna tell you how to do it though. I'm just gonna kind of leave it, but don't actually write the essay. Just outline it and then shout for me, all right? A typical day of Mr. Ahmad's class where he helps us in everything, basically any question you need, any teacher that you need to talk to about something, he gives you the best advice and he's always there. And we get on our work right away and when we need help, he sits and explains to us individually how to work things out if we need help. This class is different from other classes because we use iPads and it's at your own pace. It doesn't um, mess up any other students' paces. Which presentation are you on? Open it up on this one, and then look at the questions on that one. What happens is every student that um, walks in the door is given what they call a standard mastery checklist. So from day one, they know what standards that they must master in order to receive um, credit for the class. And so with that, with that standards mastery checklist, in addition to that, they are given, these are the, these are the assignments that you must, and how, the, basically the format in which you must show mastery. And so from there, that's how the classes are built. These are the standards, this is what you must master, and then students are given the flexibility to master those standards at their own pace. What brings attention to the speaker exactly? He's used a format called Google Classroom, and the Google Classroom format allows him to build lessons to, that are individualized for students. So basically, you, when you were really talking about in this age of being personalized, a learning experience, he's able to build a, a lesson plan based on that student's um, learning goals and be able to change lesson plans on just as students are showing progress, if they need to remediate, he's able to automatically go back in and show, um, provide the student with an assignment to show how they can show mastery of the standard. So the Google Classroom format has been beneficial in working with our students that, you know, have experience. Um, you know, instead of them just experiencing failure, they're able to say, okay, if I don't get this learning target, I'm able to show mastery in a different way. I wanted to teach them my own content, but I was kind of driving myself crazy trying to teach three classes simultaneously where I'm like, I just, there has to be some kind of platform where I can develop my own content and put it online. So I, I looked around, I experimented with a couple different platforms and I found Google Classroom because it has this really cool feature where if it uses Google Docs, so a student can be working on an assignment and while they're typing, I can look at their assignment at the same time. So I can sit next to them, or I can sit in another room, or I could be at home. They could be at home, it doesn't matter. And I can provide real-time feedback on their assignments. The assignments that are set up, they're all already on the, um, the iPads. So if we don't get one lesson, we can go to another one, read about that one, or we can go back to one thing. And you're able to work on it at home too, on Google Classroom and Google Drive and stuff. So if you don't want to do something in class right away and you want to work on it back at home, you can do that. And you can also start on other assignments while you're at home too.
Today's students were, some students were working on the writing boot camp and they were in the final stages. They were working on the basics of a five paragraph essay. So they were given an essay topic by me based on their interests with this express idea of teaching them how to organize an essay as opposed to deeply researching a topic and writing an essay. It, it, it's all about organization. And then the next level will be that high level analysis. Other students were working on uh, rhetorical analysis and an assignment involving logical fallacies. They were reading different speeches by different presidential candidates and they were analyzing them in terms of the rhetorical techniques they used, um, if they used any logical fallacies in their speeches. And they were utilizing a tool called the rhetorical triangle where they were looking at the speaker, the subject, and the audience, and how each one of those things had an effect on what the person was saying. Why would Malcolm X be an effective, like say he was there. Okay, I'll get it. You, I got it. I got it. I'm gonna shut up. The one-on-one -on -one interaction I can get through blended learning, I feel that's the only way to improve their students, my students' writing. The learning gaps are so huge, and a lot of the differences are night and day. I mean, there's students who come in who are writing just one long paragraph with run-on sentences, and then when they leave, they're supporting it with evidence, they're analyzing that evidence, they're saying things that they've never said before, they're expressing themselves in ways they haven't expressed before, and I wouldn't have that opportunity in a traditional classroom. Blended learning gives me the one-on-one -on -one time with them where we can make those huge strides from such low levels. This class is fun. This is my favorite class to go to during the day. It feels like I'm a good writer to hear that my writing is great. You feel me? I feel like an author, but I'm not. It benefited me because I was able to get more of my work done without any distractions. And I was able to, uh, to uh, improve my writing more. I became a very good writer because of Mr. Ahmad.